Alright, so today I will be working on my fourth Shopkin present. Um, before I did um, Poppy Popcorn, the Pink Chocolate Bar, and um, Swiss Miss. So today I'm going to be doing Frosty Fridge. And this is just the picture off the site. Um, so, the things that you will need are... Alright, it's going to be Mod Podge. Or glue. Something round, anything round. This one I like because it has a small round and a big round. Um, and it's just one of those like shot um, for energy things. Um, you can use any kind of little round circular object for eyes. Scrap paper. Marker. Permanent marker. Black marker. Doesn't matter. A pencil. Scissors. And some blue paper. I got this wrapping paper at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it's a blue, kind of turquoise, baby blue looking color. And that's going to be the same color as the fridge, hopefully. And the first step you want to do is draw the circular, or grab the circular object, trace around it. And then you want to use go over it with marker. And so this part we won't be cutting out because on the fridge he has like a cheek above the eyeball. So this will be... Um, not um, cut out the line just right above it everything else and I'm not gonna cut out the eyelashes because I'm just gonna draw those on to the wrapping paper and I also drew a handle for the fridge and I'm just gonna kind of fold it over and um, that way I can have two uh, for the top and bottom of the fridge and um, so you first use your pencil to draw it and then you go over it with your marker and then you want to cut them out. Alright, so this is going to be the present that I am going to be wrapping up as Frosty Fridge. Um, I will not be, I mean, I will be using the bottom part of the present um, because it is the most, or the closest to the shape that I need. Um, the other sides are not very easy to wrap and not going to work as the present so I'm going to be using the bottom of it right there I will make that the face and the front of the present all right so with a pen um, because the marker didn't work and I don't think a map color would work or anything so I used the blue pen to draw the lines that separate the top from the bottom and then I glued on the handlebars and the eyes I don't know if you can see the hand but I did cut out these little shapes for hands they go right here I might have to outline it in black so that it's more visible it's like right here you can't really even see it I think I'm gonna outline it and also I did make feet so, these feet are rectangular, so I'm going to cut this in half and make it at the bottom so you can see that there's two feet. I still have to do the nose and the mouth and the eyelashes and then the snowflake. And I'll do that in a second so we can see how it turns out. Alright, so this is my finished project product. <laughs> um, let me try to get it more in the light. Okay, you're going to have to use whatever works for you because I tried lots of things to make the snowflake and the mouth and the nose. Um, marker didn't work because of the wrapping paper made it um, not stick to the wrapping paper. The ink didn't want to stick. Uh, crayon did not look well. So um, maybe a map color might work. I'm not sure. I didn't try it. I just used a lipstick or a lip liner. And that's what I used to do the snowflake and the mouth and the nose. Um, and I just put a white dot in the center. I used this pink from a pink wrapping paper that I had before. And then I just drew with blue pen um, the little, I guess it was like an ice maker part of it. And then the feet. Alright, and then with the hands and the feet, I just cut out the shapes. And then I outlined it with a pencil. And that's what it looks like. I think it came out pretty good though. I mean, at least she's going to know what it is. I mean, it's obvious that it's um, frosty fridge. So that's what it looks like. I think it came out good. Sorry the lighting here is bad, but I'm in my room and everyone's out there. So I had to do it in secret again, but 
I think that looks pretty cute. All right, hopefully um, my project helps you make yours. If you have better ways to do the lips and the snowflake, let me know. I don't know how to make, um, you know, the marker stick. I didn't, maybe a red pen might work. I don't know. I tried using red pen, but I was kind of out of ink on that red pen. So anyway, here's what I did and hopefully it works good for you.